हेलो फ्रेंड्स इन दिस सेशन वी आर इंटरफेसिंग दिस रास्बेरी पाय विथ डी एच टी इलेवन टेम्परेचर एंड ह्यूमिडिटी सेंसर रास्बेरी पाय विल एक्ट एज अ सर्वर इट विल रीड डेटा फ्रॉम दिस सेंसर एंड इट विल बी स्टोर्ड इन टू दी डेटा बेस वी कैन ऑब्जर्व सेम डेटा ऑन टू दी पोर्टल ऑल्सो इन दिस पोर्टल वी आर डिस्प्लेइंग मोस्ट रिसेंट फाइव रीडिंग्स वी कैन ऑब्जर्व दिस रीडिंग ऑन टू दी कंप्यूटर सिस्टम रास्बेरी पाय एज वेल एज अवर मोबाइल सिस्टम सो लेट स्टार्ट अवर डिस्कशन एक्सपेरिमेंट वी आर गोइंग टू रीड द डेटा फ्रॉम डी एच टी इलेवन सेंसर फॉर दैट वी आर यूजिंग रास्बेरी पाय रास्बेरी पाय इज गोइंग टू एक्ट एज अ सर्वर देन वी हैव रिटर्न अ पाइथन प्रोग्राम टू रीड द डेटा एंड स्टोर द डेटा इन टू द डेटा बेस वी हैव रिटर्न पी एच पी एच टी एम एल सी एस एस जी एस कोड टू रीड द डेटा फ्रॉम डेटा बेस एंड वी कैन डिस्प्ले दिस डेटा ऑन टू दी क्लाइंट साइड इट मे बी मोबाइल इट मे बी अवर लैपटॉप इट मे बी अवर रास्बेरी पाय परफॉर्म दिस एक्सपेरिमेंट वी हैव इंस्टॉल्ड नंबर ऑफ टूल्स विच आर आई हैव इंस्टॉल्ड एपैचे वेब सर्वर इन रास्बेरी पाय देन पी एच पी देन मैरिया डी बी डेटा बेस एंड पी एच पी माई एडमिन वी हैव टू इंस्टॉल फ्यू मोर लाइब्रेरीज विच आर एज फॉलोज एज वी आर यूजिंग डी एच टी इलेवन विथ रास्बेरी पाय सो वी हैव टू इंस्टॉल रेस्पॉन्डिंग लाइब्रेरी बाई यूजिंग दिस कमांड वी हैव टू यूज दिस कमांड इन टू दी टर्मिनल विंडो ऑफ रास्बेरी पाय टू स्टर्न ऑन द एपैचे वेब सर्वर वी हैव टू गिव अ कमांड टू दी टर्मिनल विंडो ऑफ रास्बेरी पाय कमांड इज इयर we can stop the web server by using this command when our raspberry pi is acting as a web server that time we have to store our files in particular locations of the raspberry pi the location is where slash www slash html then only data can be read so we can use this command to enter in particular directory we have to install my sql connector in python so we have to use this command when we are executing php file that time it has to be open into the nano reader only so we have to provide this command and after writing entire program of php we have to press control x and then enter so let's move on to the raspberry pi for this experiment i am using this circuit diagram in which vcc pin of dht11 is given to the 5 volt ground pin of dht11 is given to the ground and data pin of dht11 is given to the pin number 4 of raspberry pi this is a zoom in structure of interfacing diagram here i have written different programs let's say first program in this program i am reading data from dht11 and displaying the data onto the output screen so by using this first three lines i have imported different libraries i am using pin number 4 pin of raspberry pi which is interfaced with a dht11 and a code is written here i am reading data from dht11 and if data is available we are displaying onto the output screen if data is not received we are saying that none data received and we are waiting for 3 second so let's run this program initially it is not giving data we will wait for some time now it is giving data humidity is a 64 degree and temperature is a 29 degree so this is a way of reading the data from the dht11 by using raspberry pi the second program which i have written is here this by using this program i want to store a particular data into the database so before going ahead i will have to create a database so i will have to open php my admin first of all i will open terminal window and i will i will restart apache web server by giving this command now my raspberry pi is acting as a server now i will minimize this window and my raspberry pi laptop and mobile these are connected in lan connection so i will open browser of either raspberry pi or laptop and i will enter what is a ip address of raspberry pi and followed by that php my admin let's see what is the ip address of raspberry pi so keep mouse on here so ip address is 192.168.238.55 so i will have to enter this here 
So enter IP address followed by that PHP madam admin. Press enter. Then it will ask me username and password. Password is a 123. Username is a Rudra. So let's click on go. So it will give me a nice interface. Let's create a database. So click on new. Then give name to the database. Let's say name is a weather. That is actually name of database. After that, give name to the table. Let's say name is a my weather. And let's click on go. After that, I have to enter different columns. First column is ID. Second column is let's say temp. Third column is Yumi. And last column is time. Now I have to mention type also. Uh, I, for ID, I will keep integer. For temperature, I will keep as a floating. For humidity, again, I will keep as a floating. And last one, time is a timestamp because I want to check at what time data is received. So I will enter here length also. First length is a 5, let's second length is a 10, then 10. Then here I do not have to mention. Then I will go ahead and for ID, I will click on AI, that means automatic increment. So it will be my primary key. So after giving this information, I will have to click on save button. So automatically a database will be created in which there will be four different columns. So now database is created. Table name is my weather. So I will move on to the Raspberry Pi. In the Raspberry Pi, by using these three lines, I am importing different libraries. In the six number line, I have to mention it is a local host. Then username, in my case, it is a Rudra. Password is a 123. Then database name is a weather. And uh, after that, I am using library mysql.connector. So I will define first cursor. I have taken here two different variables. Let's say in i variable, I am storing 5 and j variable, I am storing 10. These two numbers, I want to store into the database. So what is the procedure of that? That I will tell you. First of all, we have to check whether there is a connection or not. If there is a connection, I am printing database is a connected. After that, this line, that is line number 14, in which I am inserting the data. By using this SQL query, I am inserting the data into the my weather table in time column and humidity column. The values are i and j. That means in temp, I am storing value of i and in yumi, I am storing value of j. So in here, temp value will be that 5 and yumi value is equal to 10. After that, I have to save this data or update the database. So we have to use con.commit instruction. And after that, I am printing data is a insert data. Then I am also mentioning at which ID I have stored the data. And after that, I will wait for three seconds and I will stop the execution. So save this program and run the program. Once I run the program, data is a connect, database is connected, data is a inserted in ID 1, data 5 and 10 is a inserted. So I will have to check is it really happening or not. So I will again go to the browser. I will click on refresh. And once I click on refresh, look at the ID, ID is 1, temp is 5 and humi is 10 and here it is a giving at what time data is updated. Suppose I want to directly insert data from this GUI, it is also possible. So I, have, I will have to click on insert. Uh, let's say I am giving data of temperature 11.22. Data of Yumi is uh, let's say 33.44. And ID it will be taken by default. And timestamp it will take from the my uh, computer system. Just I will have to click on go. Once I do that, a particular query will be generated. And that query will be executed. 
again i will check what is the data so add at id number 2 data is 11.22 for temperature and 33.44 is for humidity so this is the way of inserting the data into the database now again i will move on to the raspberry pi in raspberry pi this is my third program in this third program i am combining our first and second program that means i am using different libraries here to read the data from dht11 and i have to use connection with database so i again i will have to import this library pin number four i am using here and here again i have written instruction for connecting with uh, database then i have created a cursor here after that i will check whether my database is a connected or not connected or not if it is yes then i will read the data from the database and if data is uh, more than zero that means temperature and humidity are more than zero i am executing command to insert the data into the database and after that i will update the data once data is uh, inserted i will display a line data is inserted successfully if data is not inserted because sometime there may be problem with dht11 in that case i will give a message like none data received so now i will save this program i will execute this code in which i am reading the data from dht11 and storing the data into the database so database is connected message is appearing here none data is received so initially it is showing this message and after that it will start producing the values here humidity is a uh, 61 temperature is a uh, 29 so let's move on to the our database so i will replace i will replace this database now look at a database temperature is a uh, 29 humidity is a uh, 61 it is updating every after few seconds so this is the way of inserting data into the database here i will keep my program running now i will show you my php code by using which i am reading the data from database and displaying data onto the client side so for that purpose i will have to move on to the particular directory directory name is already mentioned with you so type cd space dot dot enter uh, check which directories are present here uh, one of the directory is a where we have to move on to the where so go to the cd where enter then again cd www enter then cd html enter now we can check which files are available here so there are different files i will show in the directory as well uh, so this is my directory in where folder there is a folder name www and there is a html folder in that there are different files so i will show these different files i have written this index.php server.php style.css and config.php these four different files i am using here for showing the data onto the database to open a particular file or program i will have to type sudo nano index dot php so this is my program you can go through this program a different files i have called here this is my program of index dot php uh, then i will show sudo nano then configure.php this is a program of conferring the database with uh, our php file so here i have mentioned all the things which are related about server name username password and database i will show you sudo dot sudo nano server.php by using this program i am updating the data and showing on to the web portal so i will close this the link of these programs is given into the description you can go through this program i will exit from here and i will show you how 
my web portal look like so i will open my browser again i will provide ip address for the same and then index.php so server is in on condition now look at the my portal how this portal look like so this portal is a refreshing automatically every after five seconds so once the new data is available it will show at the top row this is how we have read the data from dhc 11 by using raspberry pi we have stored data into the database and we have displayed this data onto the web portal so thanks thanks for watching my video